Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Greg, and if there's one thing that I would like you to know about me, it's that I love finding Lego on the cheap. And in my experience, the best place to do that is at yard sales and garage sales. And that's what I'll be sharing with you today. My amazing father-in-law ended up finding this score, and I thought maybe we could go through this today. So this is what he found me, and I mention this in every yard sale haul that I get that's like this. I don't go through this ahead of time. Everything you see here, I'll be seeing with you for the first time because I like to say my honest reaction for these videos. The first thing that you'll notice is on the side here, this says all for $7. And my father-in-law, he loves to negotiate at yard sales and he ended up getting all this for $5. And as you can see, there's a bag inside a box here. And the first thing that I notice when I look inside here is, we got a C-3PO already, so for $5 we're doing okay. We got a Jar Jar in here, of course, so this makes me think that there may be some Star Wars, and it doesn't look super clean, but that's never stopped me before, so let's take this out. And, ooh, what else do we got in here? A couple little bonus. We got a couple little dump trucks in here. Got those for the $5 as well. If anybody knows anything about, are these? Okay, this doesn't matter. You guys are here for the Lego. We also have a nice collection of grass in here. So that's just lovely. Looks like an empty bag or something. Next up, let's do what I probably shouldn't do based on the cleanliness that I've seen so far and dump this on my table. Here goes nothing. Whoa, okay. This is not the best of ideas. It's a, definitely a brick attack video. Holy. All clear. Now for the moment of truth, let's start going through this and seeing what we got here. Some of you guys might already recognize some pieces out of here. And what I've realized through making these videos is that there's a lot of people out there that know a lot more about Lego than I do. I don't claim to be an expert, but I'm pretty sure this marble is not a Lego set. So we'll set that aside, or maybe we won't. It's destined to stay with the collection here. We've got a castle door there. Maybe a castle set, maybe a Harry Potter set, I don't know. You guys recognize any of this stuff? I'm gonna go through this, take my time. If you wanna hang out with me here for a bit, you can definitely do that. There we got some Ninjago, I imagine. We've got some grass, just like we predicted. We've got more castle stuff here. Should we go for the minifigs? I guess that's probably what people want to see in here. We've got some clone trooper legs, I believe. We'll just call him a stormtrooper though for the purpose of this video. Oh, what's this guy's name? Oh, Sugar Shack. I'm not a Harry Potter detector, but I know a lot of you guys are, and I always called him like Pigman or something, and everyone got all upset with me because I was making a joke. There's another guy we pulled out of there. I see a skeleton head right there. I see a lot of disassembled stuff here. I guess we'll just keep digging here. There's another one of these dump trucks. That's three, baby. Maybe these dump trucks are worth something. That'd be awesome if they were. They can definitely haul Lego pieces though. I'm gonna try to point out stuff that maybe you guys recognize from sets, if possible. So that's something that someone may recognize. Pieces like this, you can tell. We got Zane, call him by his real name to not trigger the Ninjago crowd. We've got Harry Potter, and he is wearing, looks like some shoulder pads there. I don't think that's standard issue but we got Harry Potter in there. So that leads me to believe that maybe this is from a Harry Potter set. We've got, what's this guy? Okay, that's the rest of this dude over here. We got some crazy combinations going on here. I have no idea where my father-in-law found these things. He just came over with it and he's like, hey, I got this for $5. And I was like, dude, any kind of pile like this, I'll pay $5 for. There's Jar Jar. Where's C-3PO? He was in here somewhere. He got lost in the, oh, there we go. Is that Anakin or Obi-Wan maybe? Not sure. We got Master Wu. All right. Where the heck did C-3PO? There's Jar Jar. We've got a cape here, black cape. Is there Darth Vader in here maybe? Possibly, there's C-3PO. There we've got someone with a missing head. There is a TIE Fighter pilot helmet. So some Star Wars in here too. Let me go over it here so you guys can see everything. This is, what is that? This is like metal. I don't think that's Lego. Interesting find though. Okay. Let me go over this section here. We've got some legs. Here we got somebody recovering. Snowtrooper, maybe. If I'm wrong, don't come at me. Another little Harry Potter piece, I believe. Hopefully. And I know the Ninjago detectors are gonna know what this stuff is for sure, for sure. But I guess I can ask you this right now, because this is always the question that comes up. Worth $5?
I don't even think I need to ask that because we all know the answer. This is definitely worth five bucks, man. Can you imagine what this would cost, train track? What would this cost on BrickLink? Let's ask that. That's a better question. If you went on to BrickLink and you found all this stuff, including all of these guys, and there's probably still more in here, how much would you pay on BrickLink for this? Not how much would you pay, but how much would it cost? Look at this dude. There you go. That's pretty wild, huh? How much would this cost on BrickLink? We've got robots, as Clark Mann likes to call them. We've got a couple of them here. I see at least the parts for them. There's D2, as Clark would call it. Man, he should be down here. He's actually taking a nap. I kind of like to do these videos solo because it is a little bit more calm. He'd be grabbing this stuff and going wild. If you are new to this channel and you just found us for some reason, you better get used to having a four-year-old in the videos if you subscribe, which I highly recommend doing. There's one of those spinners. Put that off to the side. I don't collect those, but I know somebody that does collect them and I might be able to give that away if he doesn't have it already. Here we got this. I just find myself pulling minifigs out, really. That's what I do. Or mini fingers. If you're new to the channel, you just got triggered. Anybody else? Anyone in there? What's this? Wow, that's cool. Okay. Anyone out there? Can you hear me? Find another one of these. Is this disorienting when I go over this like this? I've got another Harry Potter outfit. Probably to some other Harry Potter character that I don't know because I've never watched the movies. Let me just dig. We've got another cape, dark red cape. What's this all about? Somebody knows. If you have any suggestions on this, my best advice is to leave a timestamp. I'm gonna take you over all of this. I see some miscellaneous crap in here and trash and stuff like that, but some things are good, right? Got a treasure chest, no treasure inside. Anything like super rare that you see? How about this checker? Super rare checker from Lego set 601. How about this chess piece? That's gotta be rare. And ooh, found another guy in here. This is, I don't know what he is either. Someone will help me with that. I really love making these videos just for the reason that I don't have to do any research into this. I can be like, hey, who is this guy? And everyone's like, that is so-and-so. And it really helps. I've got a puzzle piece in here. Sometimes it's the non-Lego stuff that tends to be the most interesting. Just because, like, how is that in there? Or what is that? I found so many weird things in the collections that I found. I found a bullet one time. The most random thing you would find in a Lego collection. A bullet. There's a wizard hat or something for the Harry Potter characters. What is this thing? Oh, it's like a crayon, like a moldy crayon. Okay. We're, uh, we're going to get rid of that. What's this? I don't know what that is. Of course, marbles everywhere. Lots of marbles in here. It's good to see kids still do marbles these days, but what year do you think this stuff's from? This is pretty modern stuff. And what I love about this is there's not a whole lot of basic pieces in here. Like there's not a whole lot of just bricks. Like it's minifigs and this is stuff I like to find because when you go to the flea markets, a lot of it is like the person will go through this and they'll do exactly what I'm doing right now. They'll pick all these guys out. They'll sell this for $20 for all that. They'll sell this for $20 or whatever. Like it, sometimes it's even worse. But yard sales, that's why I say I love yard sales because I like picking all this stuff out because it's fun. But I love yard sales because someone was just trying to get rid of this. And you may wonder like, why would someone get rid of their entire Lego collection, Greg? Well, kids grow up, parents have it in their house. They want to get rid of it. They have no interest in storing it anymore. And instead of passing it on to the next line of kids, they're just like, be gone with it. And that's how you're able to find scores like this on the cheap. This isn't my greatest score by any means. I found entire collections of like Lego city sets. And if you go back in my playlist that this video's in, you can see a lot of stuff that I've, well, mostly my father-in-law has come across for me and we found some really great stuff. Or he's found some great stuff. Give credit where credit's due. My father-in-law is the man at yard sales. He didn't even pay seven for this. Like I would have walked up to this at seven and been like, take my money. He's like, $5. <laughs> I love it. That's a part of his thing though, negotiating yard sales. What else can I show you here? I like to be thorough with these. I imagine if you're still here, you wanna see more. So I'm gonna do a slow pan over this while I try to fill the dead silence with conversation if I can. A one-sided conversation, a monologue, if you will. We got a lot of Ninjago stuff in here. I'm seeing it, I'm recognizing the Ninjago stuff. We got Star Wars stuff in here. We got Harry Potter. These are the things that people love that watch my channel. I would say 
based on my comments that I get, I would say, man, I think Ninjago might be one of the most popular things on my channel. Maybe Star Wars is up there too. And then Harry Potter, I think, maybe falls behind that, but those people aren't as vocal. Let me know what your favorite Lego theme is. Oh, this has got to be something, right? Who knows what that's from? We've got another one over here. We've got this. Can this possibly build something? What does it build? Someone knows. In fact, I'll probably get a comment where 70 people know. That's the most fun thing about doing this is, especially when you get something wrong or you miss a piece. I've done videos where I've gone through these and I'm like, okay, this is the Lego, this is the non-Lego. And people are like, that's Lego! Why are you throwing that away? What are you doing with that? Yeah, like this. Is that Lego? That isn't Lego, I don't believe. Especially back when I just got back into Lego collecting after being off for 20 years, I had no idea that pieces like this even existed. I was like, that's not Lego. And lo and behold, it was. Finding more minifigure stuff as I go through. What is this? It's like a folded pin that's folded in half or something. It looks like a taco. Anything else that I could possibly show you in here that you haven't already seen? Let's just go over it. I keep saying I'm gonna go over it, then I keep finding stuff in here that I wanna pick out. But yeah, if you see a timestamp where you see something like super rare, super awesome, I mean, everything's awesome for me in here, especially at $5, but you got some sand green in there too. I think that's the Harry Potter stuff maybe. At least that's what people have told me in the past when I found Harry Potter stuff, that sand green, like you see it all here, all these sand green slopes. And then you got these castle pieces. I'm assuming that's, you know, it's probably all going together, I would imagine. What's this thing right here? I don't think that's Lego. If it is, let me know. This looks like a speeder, but that is my $5 haul, courtesy of my father-in-law, who has single-handedly found just epic stuff on this channel. You guys have enjoyed a lot of the stuff that he's done. Leave a like for my father-in-law. Leave a like if you wanna see more of these. You're gonna see him no matter what, so you might as well just leave a like, because I've got, I think in the first two weeks of yard sailing, I've got eight videos to make of all the stuff that I found. This is video number two. If you didn't see last week's video, it was the Minecraft 50 cent haul. That was a good one. Like I said, my first yard sale haul of 2019, I'm gonna keep these videos rolling every Friday until I run out of stuff to share with you guys. The good news is when you're watching this video, I'll actually have already been out on Friday. I'm going out on Saturday this week and I'm gonna try to keep doing that every single weekend and hopefully finding just some really cool stuff to share with you guys. Stuff like this, if I could just keep coming across this, that would make me happy, but there's a lot of other stuff out there to share too and I'm gonna be finding it. I'm gonna leave you guys with a tip and I don't know if I mentioned this on a video or not, but here's what you need to do if you're looking for Lego at yard sales. I know people say I can never find it. This is what my father-in-law taught me and he's a master. No matter what, don't judge a book by its cover because I've gone to yard sales or I've driven past yard sales and I'm like, oh, those people have nothing. Like nothing that I'd be interested in at least. Like it's like older people with older stuff. But we stopped at a place just like that. Like I wasn't even gonna stop there. My father-in-law decides that he's gonna go ask. He asks the lady if she has any Lego and of course inside her house she did. And that's gonna be a future haul that I'll be sharing with you. You gotta ask because a lot of times people don't even think about this stuff. And they're like, oh, my son who's now 35 years old had Lego stuff. Let me go down in the basement and get it and I'll bring it out. And 99% of the time, these people, being that they don't even know that it's there or remember it, they're willing to let it go for nothing. So you got to do that. Always ask all the time. Do you have any Lego stuff? Whatever it is you collect, even if it's non-Lego, hey, do you have any G.I. Joes? Do you have any Power Rangers? I don't know. Whatever you do. Do you have any Thomas and Friends? Do you have any Hot Wheels? People find the stuff. They come out with it. Hopefully that lesson helps at least one person out there that says they can't find Lego in any yard sales. Pretty much everything that we found was stuff that people didn't actually have sitting out. So on that, I want to thank you guys for watching this week's episode of whatever we're calling this, Greg's Lego Yard Sale Finds. And we'll be back again with you next week with another one. And since Clark Man isn't here, as always, next video.